Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today, rather than an application, I'm going to cover a concept that has been requested by many of our viewers recently. Now, when the presenters here at Screencast Online cover videos that involve plain text entry, quite often we'll refer to something called Markdown. But what exactly is Markdown and how can you use it day to day on your Apple devices? Well, hopefully this short video will give you a little bit of entry level knowledge to get you started. Let's start by taking a look at what Markdown is. So Markdown is, at its essence, a lightweight markup language that you can use to add formatting elements to plain text documents. It was created by John Gruber in 2004 and is now one of the world's most popular markup languages. Using Markdown is very different from how you conventionally type text. Here I am in Microsoft Word, which is what is known as a WYSIWYG editor. That stands for what you see is what you get. You have to make changes to the formatting of a text by clicking buttons. So here I'll make it bold, then I'll italicize it, and you can see the changes immediately. Now I'll close this and save because I want to switch across to this text editing application. Now this app is called Byword and it's an old favorite of mine. There are no bells, no whistles. It's just a simple markdown editor that allows me to type in markdown format. There are many apps that support markdown out there and I will show you a list of popular ones at the end of this video. In fact, you can even use good old text edit. Any plain text editor will work. Now I'll type in a sentence, but I'll put in the characters or markup definitions that I would need to type in order to make this text bold. So that would be two asterisks, then the text, and then I'll close it with two asterisks because that is the markdown syntax for bolding text. We can see that this particular app still gives us a little bit of a preview as to how the text will look even though it is, at its core, just a plain text file, something that you wouldn't get with text edit. And also, I should add that asterisks are not the only markup characters you can use. I'll put in some underscores now at the front end, type the sentence, and then close it with some underscores, and the result is the same. So why bother with Markdown then? Well, one of the main reasons people use Markdown is because it's portable and files that contain Markdown formatted text can be opened using virtually any application. If I just save this here and switch across to Finder, I use Microsoft Word here as an example. So if you save a file in Word, you're pretty much tied to that application when you want to edit it. However, when you're working with plain text files and Markdown, they can be used in almost any application. If I switch across here, and find the folder that the markdown file we just created is in, we can see it's a plain text file. So any application that supports plain text, I can use to edit. Also, plain text is not going anywhere quickly, so you are future-proofing your work. When it comes to books, study notes, anything that you know you're going to need to preserve, keeping it in plain text format is one of the safest courses of actions that you can take. Finally, markdown is everywhere. You can use it in collaboration apps like Slack, email applications like Airmail, Reddit, GitHub, as well as a host of desktop and web-based applications, and the list is ever-growing. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.